Hey, God bless you guys. Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while since I uh, posted, uh, but I finally got myself uh, a microphone and I'm here happy to be sharing a, a message, uh, something that the Lord has been putting on my heart uh, this last couple of weeks. I think it may edify and help people who, you know, need to hear this message. Now to start, I want to speak about my personal experience. Um, I feel like the most uh, dissatisfaction I've had in my life is uh, not being content of where I'm at in a season in life. And a lot of that frustration uh, comes from me wanting something that I can't have. In this process, um, I've built up or I've seen myself um, experience frustration, um, resentment, uh, bitterness towards whether it be God, whether it be a situation. And the Lord has really been ministering to me about um, being grateful in every season of life, but also being okay and understanding I have everything that I need for this moment. And that's the message of today. It's basically understanding uh, your wants and being content with your needs. And obviously in this video, I can give you a whole bunch of Bible, give you a whole bunch of scriptures on uh, what the Lord says, but I kind of just want to speak uh, from experience. And I feel like this is going to minister more to people. God knows where we are in life. He knows our heart posture. He knows our struggles, our weaknesses. And in that, he knows the things that need to be built within us. And in this process of wanting things or desiring things, it's not a bad thing to desire something. It's not a bad thing to, to want something, you know? Just having a desire is good, but when that desire becomes something more and that desire becomes basically an idol in our lives, that's where God has uh, a little bit of a problem with. See, the Bible says to have God as the center of our life, to seek his kingdom first and his righteousness. And our thoughts should be his thoughts. And our heart posture should always be in his presence. Does this please him? Is he glorified by this? And understanding where our hearts are in certain circumstances of life. Sometimes in the past, my issue was that I couldn't get what I want and I'm frustrated. And I realized that that would keep me away from my secret place with God. That would keep me away from praising him, from worshiping him, from seeking his face daily. And that frustration, the Lord had to deal with. Because obviously I'm not walking in the fruit of the spirit, which is patience, which is faithfulness, which is self-control. I was acting like a little kid that didn't get what I wanted. And I'm going to throw a little tantrum about it. And God's the, you know, the big bad meanie that's keeping it from me. And that's something that's so far from the truth that, you know, the Lord had to humble me about. And I still struggle with this because, you know, certain situations in my life right now i want to be somewhere where i'm not but at the end of the day i know i am where i need to be and because of that that gives me peace because if something wasn't for me it's not in my life and god didn't allow it to be in my life so i'm okay with that god is looking out for me you know the lord is for his children that love him and seek him so with that being said the lord knows what we need for the exact season and for the exact time that's why the bible says when the lord gives us a gift he's a good father who knows how to give a gift and when he gives that gift it overwhelms us with joy and i'm paraphrasing the scripture but god knows what we need for when we need it whether it be in your singleness whether it be in your career whether it be in your you know your finances or your friendships whatever it is that you feel that you want something better God knows that and God is going to deal with that, but just be content and understand that you have everything that you need right now for the season. And in that, now it's your job or our job to minister correctly um, what he has in front of us. Because, for example, say if I am a person that is doing bad with my finances and I want God to come through and just have a tremendous breakthrough and make me, set me free from debt set me free from, you know, a whole bunch of car payments and everything. The Lord wants to give us the wisdom on how to do that. So we have to, you know, minister correctly or uh, be good stewards in the right way in that season to grow with the knowledge and the application of wisdom and understanding to get out of that situation. So eventually the Lord can say, okay, he's grown, he's mature, he showed faithfulness, he showed, he showed patience, he showed endurance. Okay. Now his heart is in a place where I could give him something that he's not going to basically waste away. He's not going to be the prodigal son and get in his inheritance and run off and do some wild stuff. He's going to be faithful. He's going to 
protect what I give him. He's going to honor what I give him. He's going to cherish what I give him. And because of that, now it's time for me to let the, the heavens rain down blessing. And what I want you guys to take from this is just to be grateful for where you are. Understand and know that you serve a good God. Understand and know that he loves you. He's not punishing you. He's just working and refining and, and breaking down the bad stuff and processing you so that you could be the person that he wants you to be. Because at the end of the day, we're all following Jesus. We're all looking to become more like him. So allow him to work in our hearts. Allow him to change our hearts. Allow him to give us wisdom and understanding so we can apply the word of God. So we can steward correctly. So that we can be grateful for the season that we're in. And understand and know that this season is not a punishment. It's just God working with me. So with that being said, God bless you guys. I hope you guys have a great week. Through this, we continue to seek the Lord. And I just pray that this encourages somebody. So please like, comment, subscribe, share. Do whatever you can uh, to get this video out there. Because somebody probably does need to hear this. And um, God bless you guys. Have a good week.